Greetings, everybody. This is just a quick video to show uh, some of the differences between eBay sellers and their packaging. And uh, it's actually two packages. But before I get to those two packages that I'm talking about, I also have another package that I got from uh, an eBay seller uh, whose name I don't I, I don't want to mention because I don't want to give him any you know inadvertently give him any negative uh, feedback here because you know he is probably going to be taking care of this because uh, I did have some damage on this and uh, he said he would uh, refund it if he had you know if I take a photograph of it and give him some kind of you know evidence and I said I'd probably do a video and let him know so uh, at any rate, you know, the guy shipped it in a plastic envelope like this, weatherproof, which is okay, you know. And it came like that in another bag. But what the problem is, he put it between, you know, these two, uh, you know, flimsy pieces of, uh, postal cardboard, you know, priority cardboard from a mailing box, and if he would have just, you know, doubled it up, maybe two two down there and, you know, two on the top, it would have been better, but the problem is is because of the corrugation. You see this? The, the corrugation runs uh, horizontally, you know, with, with the comic, you know, like this this way horizontally with the comic instead of vertically up and down which would have strengthened it and as a result it got easily bent as you can see you see that there's a slight bend in there and it's just enough you can see the crease right let's see right there in the middle and it was a slight bend but just enough to bend the comic right on the spine and cause spinal, you know, uh, damage. It's not horrible, but uh, it's there. It, you know, it wasn't a whole lot of money or anything like that, but you know, I was disappointed that the thing didn't arrive in the condition that I expected it. Anyway, so there's. I must try to see if I can show you the damage. It's so hard on these damn videos. There it is right there. See those creases in the spine? Yeah, you can see them. Right over there. Oh, sorry about this. It's uh, one of them situations there. crap man what the hell well you can see it there you know you, two creases there you see it anyway so that's that's what happened there I mean I There, you can see it again on the spine a little bit better, but uh, it's too bad because they weren't there. That's not the way the book was supposed to arrive to me. But you see, now the comic's not in there. You see how easily that bends? Because the corrugation is, if, if it would have went this way, it would have been, you know, 50 at least 50% sturdier. You know, if it would have ran... If it Instead of vertically, if it would have ran horizontally from top to bottom, it would have been a lot sturdier. Uh, I know it could it could bend that way too, but it's you know 100% more likely that it's going to be bent when it's you know like this. But at any rate, so the guy wanted to the seller wanted to see that, so I wanted to get that out of the way, have a record of it. But the uh, what I want to show you is uh, the difference between some of these sellers, and you're not going to believe this. This is the worst package I ever got, the flimsiest package that was ever sent to me. And as far as I can tell, there's no freaking damage. I can't, it's just unreal. This is a comic book. 
and look how thin, how, how flimsy this thing is. And it was sent to me by this guy from eBay, Mustang Boy 2. There's the price I paid for, $449. There's the uh, uh, the shipping, $275 for a total of about eight bucks. So I didn't open it yet. It, it it doesn't even look like there's any damage. I mean, that's just unbelievable. It's just <laughs> unreal that somebody would send me a comic like this. And look at this. Got no backer board. It absolutely no protection whatsoever. And this is an early appearance of uh, uh, Scott Lang as the uh, the Ant Man, who's going to be the you know the new Ant Man in the uh, in the movie. At any rate, um, this is unbelievable. I mean, there's abs there's no damage to it. There's this seems like there's a little bend, you know, the corner is bent right down there, but that had nothing to do with the, uh, with the uh, shipping. But, I mean, there's just no damage. Isn't that something, man? He just stuck the comic book like that. There's not even a backer board in there. And put it in this freaking envelope all the way from Massachusetts. Massachusetts without any damage. I mean, it's a miracle. It's absolutely freaking miracle. Unbelievable. They send it in this and there's no freaking damage. I can't. That is a freaking miracle, man. But I'll tell you one thing I will never order from that guy again because you know he sends me a comment i know it was only four dollars and 49 99 cents but jesus h christ now i'll never order from him again i mean now compare that to this guy garage sale sabbatical i paid uh seven dollars and 25 cents plus three dollars shipping 25 cents more for the shipping for a total of around 10 bucks this guy was a total of almost eight dollars so for basically i paid two dollars more I get a box here. He ships the comic in a box, and I think it's the same comic. Let me see here. Open this sucker up. I'm not sure, but I think it's the same one. I wrote the price down there, so it's got to be the same thing. Man. Pack with newspaper right there. I take the newspaper out of there. And that's nice, baby. It's got it's in between two sturdy pieces of cardboard on top of that. Not that flimsy uh, cardboard from the, the postal service. That crap there. I'm gonna open it pull it out of here and it has a backer board and it is the same comic this comic book is in a little tiny bit better condition than the other one it only cost two dollars more but forget about the price of the book the price of the shipping was practically the same and now you see the difference this guy just sends it in this envelope like that. Just like that. In a crappy little envelope. And this other guy, garage sale sabbaticals, packs it between two pieces of cardboard, puts it in a, a box, a mailing box, and then packs the top of that with newspaper. He goes through the extra effort of putting it in a box like that because why? He cares. This guy cares. Garage sale sabbatical. But this guy, he doesn't give a shit. Mustang Boy 2. He just doesn't give a shit. He figured, oh, it's only a $4 comic. I'm not going to put it in a box. I'm not going to put it in sturdy cardboard. What do I care? 
Oh, there you go. I just wanted to upload that. I, I mean, I just get frustrated a lot because I order a lot of, as you can see, I order a lot of packages and I want, some of the stuff only costs, like you just saw, five bucks. Other stuff can cost hundreds of dollars. And, but I just want everything to be shipped properly. I don't expect it to be, everything to be bubble wrapped and between, you know, you know, five pieces of cardboard and stuff like that, especially if it's, you know, low price or something, but at least, you know, do your job and protect the book a little bit better. There's nothing, you know, I mean, why can't you just get, put this thing between two pieces of cardboard at the very least before you put it in an envelope instead of just treating it like it was a piece of garbage and just put it in a flimsy envelope with no protection whatsoever. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching this, and uh, I'll get back to regular videos the next time. Take care, people.